Good day everyone. Today we are going to learn about simultaneous equation. How to solve simultaneous equation using non-graphical methods. So the learning objective for this chapter will be by end of the lessons, students should be able to solve a simple pair of simultaneous e linear equations by eliminating one variable and also substitution method. Let's look into the first method which is called as elimination method. Given here as two equation, which is 6x plus y equals to 15, 4x plus y equals to 11. The very first step of this method is to number the equation. 6x plus y equals to 15 is numbered as 1. 4x plus y equals to 11 is, num is numbered as 2. Second step will be, we need to eliminate one of the unknowns by subst subtracting or addition method. So, for this equation, we could subtract the equations. 6x minus 4x is equal to 2x. y minus y is equal to 0. 15 minus 11 is equal to 4. Step 3. Work out the unknown. As we have seen here, 2x equals to 4. We can easily find the value of x which is equal to 2. Step 4. Using the value of x in equation 1 or 2, we need to find the value of y. So I've chosen the first equation. As you can see here, x is equal to 2. All we need to do is to substitute the value of x into the first equation, which is 6 multiplied by 2 plus y equals to 15. 12 plus y equals to 15. y equals to 3. Let's look into a second second question. Second question here, as we have done for the first question, the first step will be number the equation. So the 3x plus 4y equals to 17 will be numbered as the first equation. x plus 4y equals to 3 will be numbered as the second equation. So step 2, eliminate one of the unknowns by subtracting or addition. So in this equation, we need to subtract. 3x minus x will be equal to 2x. 4y minus 4y is equal to 0. 17 minus 3 is equal to 14. Step 3, work out the unknown. As you can see here, 2x is equal to 14. So we need to find the value of x, which is equal to 7. Not to forget, for the last method, which last step, which is using value of x in equation 1 or 2 to find the value of y. I've chosen the second equation. So all we need to do is to substitute the value of x into the second, second equation to find the value of y. So the answer will be y equals to negative 1. Let's look into the second method which is called a substitution method. So the substitution method is also involving two equations. So the first step will be number the equation. As usual, the first equation and the second equation will be numbered. For the second step is slightly different than the elimination method, which is you will need to make one of the unknowns the subject of the formula in one of the equation. For this equation, I choose the first equation, which is 6x plus y equals to 15. And I've made the y as the subject of the formula. So it becomes y equals to 15 minus 6x. Step 3. Substitute the value of the unknown into the other equation. So I've chosen the second equation, which is 4x plus y equals to 11. And since I've derived from the first equation, y equals to 15 minus 6x, I'm going to substitute it into the second equation. Step 4. Calculate the value of the unknown. So 4x minus 6x plus 15 is equal to 11. 2x plus negative 2x plus 15 is equal to 11. And negative 2x is equal to negative 4. x is equal to 2. Not to forget, once we have found the value of x, we need to proceed into finding the value of y. 4x plus y equals to 11 has been chosen here. And Substituting the x value, you will get the value of y, which is equals to neg which is equals to three. I hope today's lessons is useful for you 
and you can answer simultaneous equation chapter in future. Thank you.